associated with status and luxury. A person wearing tuxedos usually demands respect and authority. However, tuxedo cats are relatively chill animals. You may not even notice, but tuxedo cats are a surprisingly common kind of cat that you can find just about anywhere. Today, we will check out 10 surprising facts about tuxedo cats. Number 10. Tuxedo cats are actually piebald. Nope, tuxedo cats aren't a particular breed. Rather, they get their name from the distinct bicolored, also called piebald, marking on their coats that resemble tuxedos. Like we said, tuxedo cats don't have to be black and white. And because they can be a variety of breeds like Maine Coon, Turkish Angora, American Shorthair, or British Shorthair, their coats can be short, shaggy, long, or silky. So, what causes their bicolored coats? Listen on for a little science lesson. Number 9. Tuxedo Cat's Genetics Cause Their Coat Variations Like calico or tortoiseshell cats, tuxedo cats can thank their genetics for their dapper duds, uh, coats. It was long believed that their bicolored coats were the result of slow or sluggish pigment cells that couldn't reach all parts of the kitty embryo before it was fully formed. A more recent theory, however, may just debunk this long accepted hypothesis. Researchers now believe that pigment cells move and multiply randomly during the development of embryo one, and they don't follow any particular genetic instructions for coat color. Although calico, tortoise shell, and tuxedo cats do share some genetic similarities that determine their markings, there's one major difference. Most calico and tortoise shell cats are female thanks to the same genetic information that decides their coat colors. But when it comes to tuxedo cats, the number of males and females are equal. Tuxedo cats also come in the cow-cat variety. The cow-cat variation doesn't have a solid coat of black fur. Instead, they have a largely white coat of fur with random patches of black fur over their bodies. This gives them a similar coloration to their common cow, hence the name. Number 8. Tuxedo cats were worshipped in ancient Egypt. It's common knowledge that cats were highly revered and worshipped as gods by the ancient Egyptians. In fact, several Egyptian goddesses were depicted as cats. For that reason, cats made frequent appearances in royal tombs, goldsmithing, and hieroglyphics. But do you know about 70% of the cats depicted in these ancient tombs and arts were tuxedo cats? Yep. Tuxes were the most commonly depicted and worshipped cats in ancient Egypt. Many black cats were worshipped worldwide for several reasons. The ancient Egyptians worshipped tuxedos because they brought good luck and fortune. This shows the popularity of tuxedo cats in ancient history. In fact, many Egyptian deities were represented as cats. For this reason, they frequently appeared in royal tombs, hieroglyphics, and goldsmithing. Yes, they were the most commonly depicted cats in ancient times. You probably never knew about this tuxedo cat fact. Number 7. They are very intelligent and photogenic. This might sound like a very weird tuxedo cat fact, but I'm yet to see anyone who doesn't like to see a picture of a tuxedo cat in a stylish pose. Their striking color patterns and their overall neat appearance make them very attractive in every picture. There is hardly any bad picture of a tuxedo cat. They are all photogenic in nature. Tuxedos have a natural flair for a picture. Any pose of tuxedos just looks cute, whether sitting, lying, playing, or just sleeping. Tuxedo cats look adorable in pictures, and their poses are amazing as if they know they are photogenic and look good. They are always ready for the shoot. You don't have to get them ready. You just have to focus on these elegant cats and snap them any time of the day, and the photo will surely receive a lot of praise. Each breed of cat has an attractive quality that stands out from the rest. 
Even though Tuxedo is not a breed, they tend to be very intelligent cats. Most people who own these beautiful cats will attest to their intelligence. They are smarter than the average domestic cat. The intelligence of this cat makes them born leaders. Therefore, if you want to train a cat, look no further than these elegant tuxedos because of their intelligence. Tuxedos are twice as intelligent as the average house cat. Any owner of a tuxedo and any other common cat will definitely understand the difference. Many of them claim that tuxedos display remarkable levels of intelligence. They care about all the activities around them and this is an indication of their intelligence. In addition, it was observed that in the family where a common cat and tuxedo cat lives, the influence of a tuxedo cat helps improve the intelligence of a normal cat by at least 15%. Number six, tuxedo cats have a place in history. In ancient Egypt, felines were worshiped like gods and goddesses. Cats were mummified like royalty and represented in artwork, hieroglyphics, and statues because they were believed to possess divine energy. While this should give all cats an ego boost, it's even more applicable to tuxedo cats. Thousands of years after their glory days in ancient Egypt, tuxedo cats continued to reign, serving as companions for Beethoven, William Shakespeare, and Sir Isaac Newton. Former President Bill Clinton even moved into the White House with his faithful tuxedo cat socks by his side. Believe it or not, there are a lot of tuxedo cats with some serious historical creed. William Shakespeare, Beethoven, and Sir Isaac Newton all had pet tuxedo cats. Who knows the level of artistic and scientific advancement these kitties inspired? Famous cats in pop culture including Sylvester from Looney Tunes, the Cat in the Hat, the famed character from Dr. Seuss, and Mr. Mistopheles from the Broadway show Cats were all tuxies. In 2012, a tuxedo cat named Tuxedo Stan from Halifax, Canada, ran for mayor of his fair city. Although Tuxedo Stan didn't take office, he still made history in both the cat and the human world. Number five, tuxedo cats have gone where no kitty has gone before. With their quick development and serious smarts, it's no wonder that tuxedo cats have gone to many, many places no other kitties have gone before. Only one cat has ever made it to the top of Mount Everest, and you guessed it, he was a tuxedo cat. His human carried him, of course, but it's still pretty impressive, right? A tuxedo cat named Simon went to war during World War II and ended up receiving a medal for his services. How did he help the Allies? By protecting British food supplies from pests and mice. Yep, a tuxedo cat even made it into the White House. President Bill Clinton had a pet tuxie during his service as President of the United States. Number four, proper tuxedo cats have a distinct pattern. As their name suggests, proper tuxedo cats have a pattern resembling a tuxedo. Specifically, they have a solid coat of black fur over most of their bodies, resembling a tuxedo jacket, with white fur on their paws, chest, belly, and throat further completes the resemblance. Tuxedo cats also commonly have a white chin and a white tail in some cases, the white chins, in particular, give tuxedo cats something of a masked appearance, thanks to the contrast of their black fur around their eyes. Number three, a tuxedo cat once lived in the White House. Not only have the great political leaders of our country made this distinctive neoclassical property their home, tuxedo cats have also enjoyed life in this grandiose estate. From 1989 to 2009, Chelsea Clinton's tuxedo cat socks, otherwise jokingly referred to as first cat of the United States, enjoyed roaming the White House's extensive grounds. From his humble beginnings as a stray kitten, moving into the White House was certainly an upgrade. Although Socks Clinton found fame in the White House years, in fact, a cartoon lookalike of the cat was the virtual host of a White House website geared towards children. 
He was later rehomed to Bill Clinton's secretary due to an ongoing conflict with the family dog, Buddy. Number two, tuxedo cats have even run for office. Never mind Sock's success living in the White House only because of his family connections. One tuxedo cat has even run for office. In 2012, the world watched on as Tuxedo Stan symbolically put his name on the ballot in Halifax, Canada for the position of mayor in order to raise awareness of Halifax's feral cat issue. Although his name was never officially put on the ballot as a result of his feline origins, Tuxedo Stan wasn't only successful raising awareness of the feral problem, but even succeeded in securing a $40,000 grant to the local Halifax SPCA. This money paved the way for a low-cost spay and neuter clinic. Stan the Tuxedo Cat was even publicly endorsed by many prominent celebrities, including Anderson Cooper and Ellen DeGeneres. What can we say? Members of the Tuxedo Cat family get results. Number 1. The smartness of a Tuxedo Cat in the feline world is unparalleled. One incredible fact that proves Tuxedo Cat's superior physical and mental development is that a newborn Tuxedo Cat first opens their eyes a day before kittens from normal breeds. As Tuxedo Cats aren't a separate breed, there aren't studies or evidence to support the statement that Tuxedo Cats are smarter than others. Yet, if the biased views of their owners are anything to go on, the average Tuxedo Cat is indeed one smart cookie. Do share with us in the comments if you know more facts about Tuxedo Cats. Please subscribe to the All Cats. Thanks for watching.